Hi there, I'm Mike with Consolidated Sterilizer Systems. Autoclaves, also known as steam sterilizers, use pressurized steam to kill microbial organisms on contaminated items. Autoclaves can be intimidating to operate for first time users. They generate a large amount of heat and make many noises that can be startling to users unfamiliar with steam sterilizers. I'm here to tell you that they're quite safe and easy to use. We put together this video to help you get started. In this video, we'll cover the following topics. Recommended autoclave training. Preparing to run a cycle. Preparing the, your load for sterilization. Starting and ending a sterilization cycle. Prior to operating an autoclave, all laboratory personnel should complete training with their supervisor that includes the following. Proper safety protocol. How to prepare items for sterilization. Loading and unloading the autoclave. Selecting the appropriate cycle. Before you run a cycle, you should put on some basic protective gear. Remember, autoclaves use steam to kill bacteria, so these devices are inherently hot. To prevent scalds or burns, your protective gear should include closed toe shoes, safety glasses, heat resistant gloves that completely cover the hand and forearm, and a lab coat. Although the exterior of the autoclave is cool or warm to the touch, it's recommended not to touch metal surfaces as these can be hot even when the autoclave isn't actively in use and to keep hands and arms clear of the chamber door. In order to prevent damage to the autoclave, it's important that you only load autoclave safe containers. These include glassware, plastic autoclavable tubs or bins, metal autoclavable tubs or bins, autoclavable waste bags, aka red bags. As a rule of thumb, always inspect containers prior to loading to ensure that they are autoclave safe and, if they're glass, they don't have any cracks. Never place the following in an autoclave as they will cause damage to the chamber. Non-autoclavable plastics, sealed containers, items that contain solvents, bleach or cleaning agents that contain bleach, and salt water. Here are some recommendations for preparing various types of loads. Steam needs a way to penetrate into the product or load. We want to prevent air pockets from forming in our load as this will prevent proper sterilization. So we don't want to close off the orifice of what we're sterilizing. Liquids can boil, froth, and foam during sterilization. Caps or aluminum foil loosely applied to the tops of containers can limit venting and tubs or trays can contain any liquid that does escape. On glassware with lids, be sure to loosen the lids so that the steam can penetrate inside. For glassware without lids, like beakers, wrap the top with aluminum foil. Some people will place autoclave tape over the foil, which changes color after a successful cycle. Place glassware containing liquid in a secondary containment pan made of autoclave safe materials. Red bags should not be tied shut or otherwise sealed. There should be a slight opening in the top of the bag to allow steam to penetrate and escape. Now that you have your protective gear on and have prepared the goods, it is time to load the autoclave. Open the door and make sure that the drain at the bottom is clear from debris, and if there is, empty the drain strainer. This is best done in the morning before the sterilizer is hot. Once you've done this, place the goods in the chamber so that nothing is touching the side walls or bottom floor of the autoclave. Be mindful never to overload the autoclave. This prevents steam from circulating through the chamber. If the autoclave has a metal wire rack shelf, place the item so that they are easily accessible from the autoclave door. Lastly, make sure that the chamber drain is not covered and steam and condensate can flow freely to the chamber drain. Once the unit is loaded, close the autoclave door. If you're using a hinge door autoclave, close the door fully, engage the locking pins, and turning the locking mechanism until it stops moving. In this case, we're operating a vertical sliding door sterilizer. In either hinged or vertical door design, the door and locking mechanism should only take a minimal amount of force to operate. If the door is not completely shut, the control system will alert you on the screen. Choose the appropriate cycle for the goods inside the chamber. If you are unsure which cycle to select, consult the autoclave manual for instruction on how to choose the correct cycle parameters. Note that sterilization time and cycle type will vary depending on a number of factors, including the size of the load and the type of load. In our case here today, we're sterilizing red bag waste, so we'll select a gravity cycle. Do not attempt to open the autoclave door once the cycle has started, as this presents a safety risk and could damage the autoclave. Should you suspect any issues with the autoclave, abort the cycle using the abort button on the touchscreen and wait for the temperature and pressure to return to a safe range before opening the door lock. 
Remember, the goods haven't been fully sterilized until they have gone through a successful sterilization cycle. Additionally, here is the liquid cycle. As I mentioned previously, load the liquids into an autoclavable bin. Shut the door, select your cycle, and hit start. Once the cycle is complete and the autoclave temperature and pressure have dropped to a safe range, carefully open the door slowly to let the autoclave vent and the goods cool. If there's a fume hood above the autoclave, make sure it is turned on. Be careful not to agitate any liquid containers or remove caps while unloading, as this can lead to scalding or burning from boiling liquids. Place all goods in a clearly designated area and allow them to cool to room temperature. Close the autoclave door once complete. This will help save energy as many autoclaves have steam flowing in the jacket throughout the day. Here are some tips and tricks for running your autoclave. It's okay to run full loads, but don't overpack. Don't overfill the chamber, steam flow is key. Don't place loads directly on top of the chamber drain. Don't zip tie shut or completely seal red bags. Use the two finger rule. Use bins with shallow sides. Don't use bleach products in the chamber. Securely tighten the door before starting the cycle. Use a load probe in your liquids or the F sub zero cycle to reduce cycle times. And that's it. If you have any additional questions on how to use an autoclave, contact Consolidate Sterilizer Systems for more information.